Hi, I'm Dr. Howard Cohn. I'm a natural health care practitioner. I've been practicing for 22 years. And throughout those 22 years, I've been looking for natural ways that people help heal themselves and get them the nutrition that they need in order to do that. One of the things that we've used a lot of are meal replacement shakes and meal supplements. Now, meal replacement shakes have become very popular due to their cost effectiveness and their convenience. But buyer beware, not all shakes are created equal. Many companies have produced meal replacement shakes that are masquerading as healthy nutritional products, yet they are loaded with ingredients more often than not that cause more harm than good. When choosing a shake, either as a meal replacement or a meal supplement, be sure to check for the following potentially harmful ingredients and stay clear of any product with any of these ingredients. The first ingredient to check for and to stay clear of is soy protein isolate According to the American Diabetes Association, soy protein isolate contains anti-nutrients that can actually delay your body's ability to digest food and absorb nutrients into your bloodstream. All soy products, and therefore all soy byproducts, contain phytoestrogens. Phytoestrogens are plant-derived compounds that have the ability to mimic the effects of estrogen in the body. They can have a negative effect on the hormonal balances of men, women, and children including the enlargement or depression of the thyroid gland, which could lead to a rapid weight gain, even an abnormal weight loss. The usual method by which soy protein isolate is processed and manufactured involves acid washing in an aluminum tank. As a result, large amounts of aluminum can get into the finished product. In addition, nitrites and chemical flavorings, including MSG, are then oftentimes used to add flavor these chemicals have been linked to the development of certain cancers, allergies, and even Alzheimer's disease. Soy can increase estrogen activity in the body. Men that consume large amounts of soy protein isolate on a daily basis may experience reduction in sperm count or a lower libido. It is important to note, these things are seen with large consumption of processed soy isolate proteins, and rarely with natural soy protein foods such as edamame, soybeans, or unprocessed soy products. The next common ingredients that you'll see in shakes all over the world to stay clear of, in my opinion, are sodium cassinate, whey protein hydrosylate, whey protein concentrate, and or isolate. All of these common shake ingredients come from dairy, one of the most highly allergic foods in the world. Milk proteins are primarily 80% casein and 20% whey. Whey is a byproduct of the cheese production. It's that pseudo-clear liquid remaining after milk has been curdled and strained that used to be tossed aside as a waste material. Although most of the casein and lactose have been removed from the whey, if you are at all dairy sensitive, and many people are, it is best to avoid it altogether. Allergic reactions to sodium cassinate are extremely common. You may not even know if you're allergic to it because it can induce a host of different symptoms. Any product that contains sodium cassinate has a risk of cross-contamination with other common dairy allergens, such as lactose and whey. Awareness and diagnosis of gluten allergies have been on the rise as well. According to the Journal of Allergy and Clinical Immunology, unfortunately, casein has a similar protein structure to gluten. Thus, anyone allergic to gluten has a greater likelihood of being allergic and sensitive to casein as well. Allergic reactions can vary widely in severity, ranging from general stomach upset to rashes to respiratory arrest. And your reaction can get worse with repeated exposure. Always check for and be sure to avoid this next potentially harmful ingredient, sucralose. Sucralose is promoted as a healthy alternative to sugar. Sucralose is actually not sugar, despite its marketing slogan, made from sugar, so it tastes like sugar. Rather, it's a chlorinated artificial sweetener, meaning that it's processed using chlorine. According to the Journal of Toxicology and Environmental Health, sucralose disrupts the pH levels of the intestines and can reduce the amount of good bacteria in your intestines by as much as 50%. Sucralose has been reported to contribute to gastrointestinal problems, migraines, seizures, dizziness, blurred vision, allergic reactions, increases in blood sugar, and weight gain. Sucralose is said to actually bear more chemical similarity to DDT, a toxic pesticide, than to sugar. 
And if it weren't enough, researchers are finding that this artificial sweetener is passing through our bodies and winding up in wastewater treatment plants where it can't even be broken down. Tests in Norway and Sweden found sucralose in surface water released downstream from treatment discharge sites. Scientists actually worry that it could change organisms' feeding habits and interfere with photosynthesis, putting the entire food chain at risk. Do yourself a favor. If you see sucralose on the label of any product, skip it because it's anything but healthy. Be sure to also steer clear of acesulfame potassium, also known as acesulfame K. It's an artificial sweetener and a suspected carcinogen. Its manufacturing process consists of several substances, one of which is methylene chloride. Methylene chloride is best known for its uses as a paint stripper, degreaser, and as a propellant agent. Methylene chloride is a carcinogen. Long-term exposure to methylene chloride can cause headaches, depression, nausea, mental confusion, liver effects, kidney effects, visual disturbances, and cancer in humans. Be sure to always read labels. Just because you're told something is healthy and good for you doesn't always mean it is. At 7.2, you can rest assured that our 7.2 shake, as well as all of our fine 7.2 products, are 100% free of all of these potentially harmful ingredients. Nothing but the best for our friends at 7.2. I'm Dr. Howard Cohn, and I'm 7.2. Are you? Oh, my God.